Hi everyone, my name is John Gyra. I am a ServiceNow architect over here at RapDev. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about the CSDM or the Common Services Data Model. So why is it important for organizations to have a CSDM compliant CMDB? It's important from many different facets. But overall, it's important for organizations to have a understanding of what their business supports, you know, from an overarching business standpoint, and what ultimately supports those business applications, capabilities, functions from a technological standpoint as well. ServiceNow recently released the 4.0 version of the CSDM, which with it came a new domain, the build domain, and with it the entity, the SDLC component. SDLC components represent microservices, APIs, those more technical pieces that were actually missing a proper home in the CMDB before this. So what does the CSDM 4.0 look like? It's pretty similar to the CSDM 3.0 if you were familiar with that. In the CSDM 3.0, the design domain linked directly to the technical service domain just through a relationship from the business application to the application service. With the 4.0 version, the build domain it situates itself right in between the design and the technical service domain. So in this relationship, the business apps are related to SDLC components, and then SDLC components are related to application services. Now, a lot of times, since SDLC components, microservices, APIs, they are more of that technical nature, a lot of times those don't get their way into the CMDB because the people who are ultimately responsible for these, managing them, are more on the dev teams. They don't really care about ServiceNow. RapDev actually supports an automated microservice registration process through a process that we call a now.yaml. If you don't know about this offering, feel free to check that out in one of our other videos. So another reason of why it's important to have a CSDM compliant CMDB is once you have this entire relationship built out, you have the service maps also that are right here, but you're able to know pretty quickly you know, if there is an underlying issue in one of your infrastructure components down here, you know very easily what is affected upstream. So through the service maps, you know ultimately what app service is affected, but you also know ultimately what business application is affected, and also upstream from that, which I don't have shown, the actual business capability. And these are important to know from that overarching business standpoint, especially if it is a very important mission one critical application, for example. All right, so that wraps up our talk about CSDM 4.0. To learn more about this and some of our other offerings, feel free to visit our website, rapdev.io.